In July 2001, Art Turbo Tomasetti made aviation history. He became the first man ever to achieve a short takeoff, supersonic sprint, and a vertical landing in one flight. That was, uh, that was what we called Mission X. As far as I've heard from anyone, I think it's pretty, pretty been pretty well researched that that was the first time that's ever been done in one flight in an airplane. Uh, it was pretty exciting to get up there and do that. Turbo proved that in short takeoff mode, the X-35B could get airborne at just 80 miles an hour in under 400 feet of runway, rather than the 3,000 feet needed by a conventional fighter. And then it could accelerate through the sound barrier. proved to me that we've come that far with uh, technology and can design an airplane, can, can do the hovering part and still get out there and do the supersonic uh, high speed part that uh, other current generation aircraft can do. Turbo touched Mach 1.05 before converting back to hover mode 150 feet above the runway and then landing vertical takeoff and landings is the British Harrier jump jet. Its ability to operate from restricted airfields close to the front line, as well as from carriers, has proved invaluable in combat, and the X-35B is set to be an impressive successor. Well, the Harrier is, is what uh, people would refer to as a pilot's airplane. Uh, you always have to be uh, doing something in order to make the airplane behave like you want it to. You're always in, uh, in the loop making corrections and small adjustments and tweaking things here and there. Uh, with this airplane and fly-by-wire technology, uh, there's three pretty powerful computers uh, behind me here that are doing a lot of the busy work for you. Uh, so you don't have to make all those corrections. In fact, uh, if you don't tell the airplane to do anything, it's just going to stay exactly where you left it. Harrier technology was crude but effective. The X-35B works on a similar principle of diverting the jet exhaust downward instead of backwards. But it also incorporates a massive fan just behind the pilot, driven by the engine, which greatly increases the lift. These doors that you see on the back end actually open. The rear portion of the engine swivels down and can point directly down at the ground. In the front portion of the airplane, there is a vertically mounted lift fan. Uh, doors open underneath and on top. A lot of air flow through that lift fan. To move the airplane uh, and rotate it 360 degrees, the actual rear nozzle of the airplane can vector in that direction, in the yaw direction a little bit, and that enables it to push the airplane around one direction or another. In 10 years' time, with over 3,000 aircraft planned for America and Britain, the Joint Strike Fighter will be the most common fighter in the world. Sales to other allies could take a total to over 6,000 planes. The Joint Strike Fighter is set to strike fear into the combat zone for the next 40 years.